The following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Television, radio, internet, the world. Coming up next, it's Be the Booker for TNA Sacrifice Sunday on pay-per-view. David Hero books the show the way he would see it go. And we talk about what's going to happen on this Sunday's pay-per-view from TNA Wrestling. Be the Booker. TNA Sacrifice starts right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Be the Booker for TNA Sacrifice this Sunday on Pay Per View, coming from Orlando, Florida, from TNA Wrestling, obviously. Uh -huh. Damian Nelson here, along with David Octavius of Tiberius, the alleged Hall of Famer hero. And David. Are we going to sacrifice 40 bucks? Well, we'll find out when this is all said and done, but the way this works is we go over match by match what's announced so far for Sacrifice this Sunday and talk about how you, as a booker man, would make this event play out. How I would book this to make money going forward. Going not, forward. I'm not making predictions. So you're not doing this in the now. It's not for no. just Sunday. No, it's no, for no, beyond. No. Absolutely. This is about E P. Oh. And that means entertainment purposes only until the DWHS moment. Absolutely. And there may be one of those on here. Some good matches on this card announced so far. And if you watched Impact last night, you saw the final push going into uh, Sacrifice this Sunday, including the debut of China. How are they calling her that? It depends on the spelling. I, it I was with a Y and everything on the screen and... Yeah, but China Dow, she owns that. Maybe it's an abbreviation. They'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Well, they'll get a letter. It'll be fine. Well, let's talk about it. First matchup is Abyss versus Crimson. Yep. Wow. I mean, two big guys. <sighs> Abyss is the established star of the two. Scott Steiner is now going off with Matt Morgan in a program there. Uh-huh. And TNA's really getting behind Crimson. He's Lots of a, pushing. He's got a great look. Yeah, he does. You know? He's like a jacked up Amazing Red, is what he is. But um, With or without a mask? Without. I guess for me, you already have it. He's established. He's kind of lost. He needs to get on track. I'm going to book Crimson to go over on Abyss. Because without Scott Steiner, he has nothing. He's got a great look. They can go forward and make some money with Crimson. Abyss will bounce back, I and mean, he's already been in main events. Do you think there's money in Crimson? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about the look. And you know what? He's, he's getting better. Mm -hmm. Every week he's getting better. Besides, if it wasn't for him, I mean, he's the guy that came out with the whole 10 10 10 thing, didn't he? No. Yeah, he did. No, he was they. He's the one who brought they back. Remember when they was going to be the returning main event mafia, then Booker T and oh, Kevin Nash Oh, that's right, went, that's right, that's right, that's right. Went back up to and isn't WWE. he the guy that put the bat in his back? Or uh, Janice? Um, well, I don't know what Abyss does in his personal life. You know what I'm... You are a sick freak. What I'm saying right now is he's the guy that had Janice stuck in his back. <laughs> Again, the board I don't... With... <laughs> Really? Man, I tell you. The monster Abyss has been... Swimming in the pool of obscurity for the last several months. What has he really done significant over the last few months, aside from lose a couple teeth? He's changed his ring gear. He was the next big thing. He got Hulk Hogan's ring. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of focus going on Abyss. Took some time off, obviously, to sell that injury. Here's my question. Now back, I just don't, I don't, I mean, this match in and of itself, I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it, because Crimson can brawl, obviously, and Abyss, never the best of technical wrestlers, but that's not what he's there for. Crimson I'm not sure what kind of match needs we're going to see this here. more than Abyss needs it. That's what I'm getting at. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mexican America will take on Inc. Inc., two tag teams that have really shined in TNA as of late. Hernandez, obviously, at the forefront of Mexican America, I like where that whole story is going with them. I think it puts Hernandez in a role where he can be more prominently featured in TNA wrestling. But what are we going to see from Shannon Moore and Jesse Neal 
going up against this very, very interesting faction of Mexican Americans. Ink Ink has they've come a, a, a long way. The fans are very behind Ink Absolutely. Ink as well. Honestly, when they first put the, these two guys together, like, ugh, brutal. I remember sitting in this very studio and uh, saying what their name was, and you found that to be quite hilarious. Yeah, it was. It was stupid. But now it makes sense. I mean, I get it. I think they've improved. Jesse Neal... Much like Crimson has come a long way. Absolutely. He looks great. You know, he, he's becoming a far better worker. But unfortunately, there's way too much steam with the Mexican America. I mean, they got it's the faction. They just beat up uh, Hector, the Puerto Rican. Or uh, Willie Abrina. And then um, Hector. And there's been some dissension here. Shannon Moore and him have been butting heads on a little occasion. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Right now, you got way too much heat on these guys to let them get derailed. You got to keep riding that. You got to keep pushing it, pushing the envelope, just letting them do their thing. Are they going to steal it? What, what, what are you insinuating? I'm insinuating that if you want heat on Mexican America, you seemingly would have them win in a not so clean fashion. I, well, that could game. be. I think That's what I mean I by think, are they going to steal it? I think it? Jesse Neal is going to be the guy that takes the pinfall. And then Shannon Moore gets hot about it. Is there an opportunity for either of those men to move forward out of Ink Ink as single stars? Not yet. So why do that? Well, well, because that's what they do with successful tag teams. They split them up. They started as singles, went into the tag team, has seen the most popularity they've seen in TNA wrestling as a tag team. I, for one, would prefer to see Ink Ink stay together going forward. I don't think this goes further than this because you got to imagine that this group is going to be going after the tag team champions Beer Money or Matt Hardy and uh, Chris Harris down the road. Absolutely. That's what you got to go with Mexican America. Next matchup is for the X Division Championship. It's Max Buck going up against the champion Kaz Kazarian, Frankie Kazarian. Ugh, this match here for me is a little confusing. Because, okay. okay. Well, here's why. Here's the thing. Kaz is doing great. Mm -hmm. That's part of fortune. Part of fortune. Top worker. Mm -hmm. You know? Now you got Max Buck. I'm not a big fan of the Bucks. Okay? It's an understatement. Well, I mean, is this Matt Hardy Light or Jeff Hardy? I don't know. That would be Matt Hardy Light. Okay. Yeah. But at the same time, he just did the, what was it, Who's Next? On Hogan's car yeah. last week. Does this mean Goldberg's coming? Okay, so why would they put this guy in that spot to lose to Kaz? Now it just proves Bischoff's point that they're meaningless, right? So that the Bucks are tremendously stop, talented, stop, David Hero. I'm just quoting Eric Bischoff. So that tells me. That Max Buck should leave the X Division champion. Really? With Jeff Buck, or Jeff Jr., and um, Kendrick, and uh, Sangrita, whatever. Red Sangrita. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a short glass of water on, on impact every week. But I think that. They have to put the belt on Max Buck. Really? Otherwise, it defeats the purpose. So they can say, hey, look, we got a title. You know what? You told us to grow six inches. Now we got, you know, 40 inches of gold. You've got Kaz, the X Division champion, tag team champions, beer money, AJ Styles, all part of Fortune. Right. That gold helps that group. But how much has it helped him? I think it's helped him a lot. I think Kaz is a lot more. Kaz had taken... I don't think he needs it. If the question is who needs it more, Max or Kaz, probably Max. I just don't... You're forgetting one thing. There's one thing that Kaz has that nobody has. And that's Tracy Brooks. Okay? Mm -hmm. He doesn't need a belt. He already has one of the hottest chicks on the planet. Max Buck will leave. I, I'm very close to almost DWHing this right now. Really? That close. Really? Yeah. Max Buck needs this more than Kaz right now. But here, but this is the thing. But it's going to, all these guys have to get involved. They got to be their own little faction. And that's how he beats Kaz. He can't beat Kaz one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way. 
there's going to be outside interference. The Tag Team Championships on the line as Beer Money defends their belts against Matt Hardy and the returning Chris Harris. Chris Harris looks to be in great shape. We mm -hmm. saw him in Cincinnati yeah. at lockdown. And I was kind of surprised he's there, but he is dating SoCal Val. Right. So it made perfect sense. But, um... What is this, TMZ? I think I'd be sharing his business out there. Everyone knows. Oh. Come on. Sorry. Don't you follow her on Twitter? She talks about it all the time. This match can be very good. Because nobody knows James Storm better than Chris Harris and vice versa. Ah, true. Former tag team partners. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So I would look to see a lot of Chris Harris doing a lot of reversal stuff mm -hmm. on James Storm. Mm -hmm. Why do you bring Chris Harris back to lose? Wow. New tag team champions? Bro, that's minus 25 points for you. I'm not saying they'll be new tag team champions. I'm just saying that they're, they're going to win. It could be by DQ or by count out or something. Did Newt Gin Gingrich call you? No, of course not. My number is unlisted and unpublished. Can't get me. Well, I thought you all were part of this, you know, like this, this, this. What is this? Society or something. Society. Hardy and Harris, really? I don't yeah. understand that. You're saying Fortune loses all their titles on the no, night no, 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 no. sacrifice. I didn't say they're going to lose the title. Well, how are they going to win? Counter or disqualification. Keeps it going. Get Keeps another pay-per-view out of yes, it. Yes, absolutely. This is not just a one, one and done. This could be very smart because, as you said, Harris obviously knows James Storm. They can play that story and that angle up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this is a bit of a wild card. No one expected Harris to return. Pure Money may not be able to properly prepare for this tag team of Hardy and Harris. Matt Hardy, a tag team specialist, if you will, knows tag team wrestling, but arguably the best tag team in the business today are these guys, Beer Money Incorporated. You got to think that they should be able to thwart the challenge of Hardy and Harris. Yeah, but... H squared. Maybe at the next pay-per-view. You don't bring this guy in for one and done and do the job and leave. I understand, but this is my booking. I'm booking this pay-per-view, right? right? This is how I would do it. All right. Next. Knockouts championship on the line with some other random stipulation that I care not to talk about. Mickey James defends the championship. No, 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 let's talk about it. If Mickey James wins, Tara is free to work for whoever she wants in TNA. She's not under Madison Rain's thumb. So that tells me one thing. Madison Rain wins. You know why? Because it's sacrifice, and Tara's going to sacrifice herself for the betterment of Madison Rain. It's going to be the swerve of uh, the knockout division. New Ma champion? Absolutely. Wow. All right. Madison Rain is the best diva knockout going today. Better than Velvet Sky? Absolutely. On par with Velvet Sky. Velvet Sky's been... Velvet Sky is not the wrestler that Madison Rain is. True. Very true. Very true. And Madison Rain is far more creative with her promos... Mm -hmm. Than just the Valley Girl Velvet Sky. Yeah. I mean, Velvet Sky is great to look at. Don't get me wrong, but the total package is Mass and Rain. Jeff and Karen Jarrett, the husband and wife team, will take on Kurt Angle and his mistress, China Doll, China. In a tag team matchup, David Hero, 15 points on the board for both of us in the PWR Fantasy Draft here. Who will win this matchup, or who would you see or show winning this? I believe last month you thought that it was going to be Angle's night. It turned out to be Jared's night. Tricky match. Angle doesn't have a win in this series, as far as I can recall. Well, he did, because now Jeff has Karen, so it's costing him less money. That's a win. Um... This is a tough one to go, because the obvious choice is Kurt and China, mm -hmm. right? Well, you're using your Harris philosophy. But this is different, because why bring in China to squash Karen, who is like the Vicky Guerrero of TNA? Yeah, and can't wrestle. China could wrestle, obviously, but how long right. has it been since China's been in a ring? At least seven years. Karen, you think she's going to be Karen a Jarrett? As much as I love Madison, if Karen Jarrett could wrestle, she'd be the best diva knockout ever of mm -hmm. all time. Because mm -hmm. she's that good at what she does. Yeah. 
which tells me what would get the crowd more upset than having Karen defeat China. China hasn't even signed a contract yet. She's just there. You've not pick a, picked a single face to win. I did. Right up here. It's baby face. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, one. You've picked a single face to win. Details. We're still the main event. What's the end game here? I mean, I like adding China into this mix. It, it changes things up a bit. Um, you almost thought it was going to end at uh, lockdown. It didn't. Maybe the end game next month will be China versus Karen. Ugh. Eesh. Uh, what better way? It'll be way? better than Listen, Charmel and... Uh, this is not the match that's going to end this feud. Right. Okay? Well. It's not. Okay. It, it shouldn't be. Put it there. There we go. Thank okay? you. Okay? Thank you. This is not the match that's going to end this feud. So let the Jarrett's go over. Oh, I'm fine with that because that's... Of course uh, you are. No, actually, that's points for you. No, man. Me. Losing. Which brings us to the main event. Sting versus RVD, the TNA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Will Sting walk out still the TNA World Heavyweight Champion against RVD? Now, you know, it's funny because on the, um, oh, I forgot, we got uh, in our point spread here. This is 20 points, actually, for me. What do you mean? Well, Sting's on the poster. Rob Van Dam's on the poster. You Are you crazy? You didn't see that? It's, no, look at it right now. It's, it's on the screen. It's Rob's That's face. Sting. And then Rob gets creative and he paints half his face like Sting. No. Yeah, you're, you're, RVD. You, have you been drinking? It's no. Sting. Bro, it's RVD. It's, it's his face half painted, so he's making fun of Sting. Five points. Whatever, it doesn't make a difference. You know why? Because your guy's going to get the win. Touching! Sting is going to defeat RVD. Really? Which, yeah. It's pretty much a given, isn't it? Yeah, you'd think so, because the money match is going to be Sting versus Anderson. Mm -hmm. no, we, we've already seen this match, and that wasn't very good. Right. Sting and Anderson. And that's where I'm <laughs> going to get some points. Well, all right. Well, you'll need them, because you're already at a 65-point deficit. You know what? It's not a sprint, okay? I'm not worried. I still have all the studs. You got Cody Rhodes. So how about that? we got two babies, and the rest are all heels. TNA sacrifices Sunday the way David Hero would see it, and we're waiting I, for that moment, you by the what? way. If this is how it goes, it's well worth the 40 bucks. Abyss versus Crimson. Crimson takes the victory in that matchup. Mexican-America defeating Inc. Inc., new TNA X Division champion, and Max Buck defeating Kaz. Beer Money losing, but maybe not losing the tag team championships to Matt Hardy and Chris Harris. Mickey James losing the knockouts title to Madison Rain. The Jarrett's get another win over Kurt Angle and his new partner and mistress, China. And the TNA World Heavyweight Champion Sting retains against RVD. And David Hero, there are four letters missing on this board. I will give you this pin to indicate which match will be the DWHS match of the night. You are guaranteeing Sting will retain his title Absolutely. over RVD. Absolutely. And that pains me because that's taking points away from myself. Tee hee. Tee hee. We got to laugh. That's not funny. Winning is funny. Winning is fun. Winning is fundamental. I'm fun and you're demental. Sunday after TNA Sacrifice, we'll be live on Blog Talk Radio with the post show. Discussion about what happened on the pay-per-view, along with your phone calls, your comments. So be sure to join us on Blog Talk Radio, our site, uh, blogtalkradio.com slash PWR. Also, David Harrell, we returned to ESPN Radio this past Wednesday night uh, for some interesting discussion on the building or the rebuilding of WWE and what they need to be doing, along with a lot of great comments from all of you out there in the fandom. Well, there are some great comments. Not all of them are great. But uh, we're going to be back on uh, 540 ESPN again Monday night, Monday night, uh, with more discussion on wrestling and all that goes with it. And be sure to check our schedule at uh, pwrshow.com. Find out when the shows are going to be broadcasting on a regular basis.
David Harrell Sacrifice looks like it could be an interesting card. The match I would say I'm looking most forward to of all these would have to be... You know, I think this match is going to be good. Mexican America versus Ink Inc. I think the tag match, the, with uh, the both tag matches actually, the other tag match being Bear Money versus Hardy and Harris, and then the Jarrett's Angle China. I'm intrigued to see China get back into I the ring. I want to see what Karen's going to wear to the ring. Sunday night TNA Sacrifice, followed by the post show for David Octavius and Tiberius Hero. This is Davian Nelson saying thank you for tuning in.